In this lesson, we are gonna be going over where we left off and creating a Google My Business account. So to connect your Google My Business, you're obviously gonna to have to create an account. So if you don't have one, you're gonna go into your search bar and search up Google My Business account creation. And it's gonna be this link here, business.google.com, Google Business Profile. Click on that, find and manage your business. So obviously you're gonna type in your business name and then you're gonna select add your business to Google. Start building your business profile. This will help you get discovered by customers on Google search and maps. So we'll put our business name again, business category. We are a software company. So obviously you're gonna put in what type of company you are and then select next. Do you want to add a location customers can visit like a store or office? This location will show up on Google Maps and search when customers are looking for your business. So obviously if you have a store or wherever your office is, you can add that here. In this case, we are just going to select no. Where do you serve your customers? I'm going to put Canada and United States. What region is your business based in? So this is obviously where you are based from. We are in Canada, so we are going to select Canada next. What contact details do you want to show customers? Help customers get in touch by including this information on your listings. So we are going to put our business phone number in here and then my website. Here, you're just gonna put in your mailing address. So where you currently live. Select a way to get verified. Google needs to verify that you manage this business. Select how you'd like to receive a verification code. So obviously this, you can just do this through your cell number, send a text, and then you're going to add that code and hit verify. Press next. So this is where you're gonna add your business hours. So obviously if you have a store or whatever and you guys are only open during the weekdays, um, this is where you're gonna put that in. Um, so I'm just gonna put for mine 24 hours, Monday to Friday. You guys can go and do whatever you have for your business. Let customers message your business on Google for free. We are going to select accept messages and press next. This is going to be just a description for your business on uh, Google My Business. So this can be any uh, paragraph that you have on your website or whatever, and then you're gonna press next. Posting photos is good uh, to display some pictures on Google. When people click on that website, they can see some pictures um, presented right there. Um, you can obviously skip this if you don't want to do this now, but updating your pictures, you know, if you're posting on Instagram or whatever, um, posting pictures on your website, you can update these and it just helps your ranking, showing that you're updating your Google My Business every week or every month. I'm just gonna skip this for now. Advertise easily in minutes. Um, so I'm just gonna skip this for now. If you do run Google Ads, obviously you can connect that, but we are not gonna be focusing on that right now. This is a little demo of what the ad would look like if you're promoting your Google website. Your edits will be visible once you're verified. You can continue to make updates to your profile at any time. All your edits will be visible to customers on Google once you've been verified. Alrighty, I'm gonna select continue. And here you go. This is the Google My Business account. Pretty cool, obviously we can add some photos in there. Um, and then what you're gonna have is the call button. So people on mobile will be able to call right to your number, right from Google, pretty cool. And then we are going to also set up the messages icon where they can message you right from your Google profile on the mobile section. So once you have created your Google My Business account and you have uploaded a few pictures or you want to do that later, put a description in there and verified your account, come back to the launch pad here and press connect on Google My Business. 
This will take you uh, to what account you want to connect. So select that one. This will show you all the things that Lead Connector will be able to access. You're just going to go and press allow. Yes, continue. Which business page do you want to link to this location? Select your business and the ads account. I don't have any Google ads account because we don't currently run any, but if you did, you can connect them there and you can see all of your Google analytics um, in the reporting tab. Um, if you don't run Google ads, don't worry about that. Just press done. And there you go. Your brand new Google My Business profile account is created and connected to the platform. So now when you go over to reporting, if you do run Google ads, you will see all of your analytics from all of your ads. This is just sample data here, obviously. And then if we go to settings and integrations, you will see your Google My Business is connected. So there you go, your Google My Business is created. And the next thing you wanna do is come over here. It's just like the dashboard of your Google My Business. You're gonna to want to select messages. And so this is where people can see the message icon on your Google My Business profile and they can send you a message and that will be sent right into your inbox on the software. Turn on. Done. Perfect. So now every message that you get from that message icon will show up right here in your conversations tab. So now if anyone messages you on that Google My Business profile, those messages will go right into your conversations tab inside of the platform. And you can message them back, send them a SMS or an email straight from there. Another thing that you can update here, once you see that your Google My Business is connected to the right page, um, you should see GMB messages are enabled and most likely you won't have the call tracking enabled just yet. So if not, then you go to change settings and up here it will show GMB call tracking and just check that box. And uh, this will enable you to track all of your calls through Google My Business and enable missed call text back. So that setting that we did earlier in the first lesson, um, if someone calls you from Google My Business, that will apply as well. And also what we can do is uh, set up the welcome message here as well. So, you know, just put any type of welcome message in here and then press save here at the bottom. And also another thing that you can do is add um, some FAQs. Um, so you can create an automatic response um, for your most commonly asked questions for your business. So here you just go add a question, you know, so whatever uh, your business does, uh, what type of services you guys do or what items you sell, whatever you can do um, the question there, they can click on that and this will be the automated response. So for example, um, if you're a chiropractor, you could uh, put in a question like, do you guys offer a free consultation? And the automated response could be yes or no. Let's just go yes, we sure do. Please give us a call and we can set that appointment up for you. Something like that. And then you can save that there. And you can obviously add as many questions and as many responses as you want. So now that your Google My Business profile is created and you put uh, some of those questions in there if you want, just wanted to note that those questions will only be answered on Google and any messages that they send um, to your Google My Business profile will get sent into your conversations tab. And in the next video, we'll show you the workflow around it so you can automate all of your responses. So when somebody replies to the Google My Business messaging channel, they will get updated into your opportunities tab, which we will also go through. They will get added a tag, Google My Business message. And this is the workflow. Once they reply, the workflow stops if it keeps on going. Um, this is uh, some notifications that get sent to you saying that you got a Google My Business message. And then these messages can be totally customized. Um, that will be sent automatically once somebody sends you a message. So pretty cool stuff. And we will all go through workflows and this particular one in 
another video. So they automatically get put into the opportunities tab through a pipeline. So they sent that initial message, they replied back, and this automatically gets updated. So you can come here and see where everyone is at um, in this pipeline until they are closed, you booked an appointment, whatever, depending on what your business uh, does. And uh, yeah, we'll dive more into it in the next video. Cheers.